There are tons of great films and TV series out there that we could use to talk about the justice system. The problem is not all of them are so accurate. So for this unit, I wanted to start out with a film that looks at the procedures of the justice system in a highly accurate way. Really only one film does a good job of portraying everything from a criminal investigation all the way through to the trial with much accuracy. And that film is My Cousin Vinny. Marissa Tomei famously, or maybe infamously, won an Oscar for her role in this film. It's really a rather silly comedy. Still, its portrayal of a criminal trial is surprisingly accurate, and I've even heard that the film is shown sometimes in some law courses in North America. There's an important part to the trial process, though, that is somewhat unique to the U.S. system, and that's the trial by jury. A jury is made up of just normal people with no legal training. The U.S. judicial system is what we call an adversarial system. That basically means that the goal is not to find out the truth, but to win. In a jury case, the role of the judge is to be more like a referee, making sure that everyone's following the rules. It's ultimately the jury who decides who wins. So how does the jury actually make that decision? That's where the film 12 Angry Men comes in. 12 Angry Men was actually a theatrical performance first, before it was adapted into a film, and it has truly become a classic film. As you watch this one, see if you can imagine what it would be like to be one of the jurors in that room. For the system to work right, you really have to stand up and fight for your beliefs with a group of strangers that you've never met before. The fact that serving on juries is considered an important civic duty in the United States shows just how important knowing how to argue and debate is. And yes, if you've been watching The Wire, of course you'll learn a lot about procedure through that show as well. Still, you might check out a show called Law & Order. There are several versions of Law & Order with different casts and actors, but all of them follow the same process of showing the investigation of a crime all the way through to the trial. You really get a sense of the relationship between law enforcement and prosecutors, who are represents, representatives of the executive branch, and the judges, who of course represent the judicial branch, and it's all on the very local level. Then you have the judges themselves, whose job is to make sure the laws are interpreted accurately. A courtroom is really a special place, where all three branches of government work together to hopefully make society better. Now, I can't talk about the justice system without mentioning the Supreme Court, though, right? The film Amistad takes us back to the time of slavery, but it also shows the drama behind what became a critical Supreme Court case. It has one of the greatest actors in history, Anthony Hopkins, playing John Quincy Adams. In my opinion, John Quincy Adams and James Garfield were probably the two smartest people to have ever been president, and yet their presidencies are not really considered very notable today. We don't think of them as particularly important presidents, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. The point is, if you're curious about how a case moves from the very local level all the way to the Supreme Court, you can't go wrong with Amistad. All of these films and TV shows have really been focused on the criminal justice system. That leaves out a big piece of the justice system, though, and that's what we call the civil justice system. If you hear in the news about somebody filing a lawsuit against a big company, they're suing them in civil court. Aaron Brockovich is probably the most famous film about the civil court system, and it's all the more interesting because it shows the power that a single motivated individual has to improve their community. Okay, so we've talked about the films My Cousin Vinny, 12 Angry Men, the TV programs The Wire and Law and Order in regards to the criminal system, Amistad for the Supreme Court, and then Aaron Brockovich for the civil system. There's only one more chapter left in this course, and that's foreign policy. And it's a huge topic and it mostly comes under the power of the president. So make sure you come back and watch the very last lesson.